So here we're going to look at uh, another example of using dynamic motion, but we're going to go instead of hitting the mark, we're going to be uh, starting to adjust the animation uh, using dynamic motion. So here we just have, again, an, a very simple, you know, every five frames, just leaping uh, down onto the ground uh, from a table. Uh, very straightforward uh, from there. But um, if we wanted to, we can add dynamic motion to this. So um, I'm going to do the same thing just to have the safety. I'm just going to copy this out just so I always have my original there and turn off this. So we have the motion of uh, Electra leaping down. So if we hold down C, we can go in dynamic motion and it gives us an option here uh, because I had something set up before. I'm just going to reset dynamic motion again. And what we can do is do the same thing here. I'm just going to open this, put the block so I could select things on here. So I'm going to select the center of mass. And you can select multiple controls and do it. I find that the COG gets me uh, pretty much what I want so I can keep on animating from there. So I'm going to hit H from there. And then we're going to start a new projectile motion. So I'm going to... I'm going to say frame 25, that's where she's leaping off, and she's going to be landing on frame 40. Let's just do that. And if I turn on dynamic motion, what we can see now here's our arc that we're getting from there. So this is the same thing, hitting a mark and landing on a mark here. But what if we wanted to start adjusting this animation? We wanted to start playing around with it. Say there was a table that came in after, and after our original blocking animation, we needed to make her land on the table. We can do this really quickly with uh, dynamic motion. So if I ho open up G um, here, and we have our dynamic motion. Click on that tab, and this is the basic that we did with Jimmy before with the soccer ball, just hitting the mark. Now we're going to go on to advanced. And you can see, because now we're going to be doing adjusting some of the animation on uh, Electra. So it asks us if we want to have another layer. And I'm going to say yes, because I want to have another layer. And I'm going to be adjusting Electra's uh, rig. So I want to have that selected and hit yes. So now what we can see here is as we jump through, we get different handles. There's new handles that have been put on here. And this allows us to start changing the animation. So without having to reanimate, rekey everything, if I wanted Electra to land on the table here, what I can just do is select this handle and we can move it up. And we can start placing Electra to wherever we want her to be on that table. And now now when I go, you can see it's adjusted everything. So now we're jumping from one table to the other. And we could do it from the beginning part too. So if we wanted to, instead of have her at the middle table, we can have her jumping from the back. And we get that going. Now it seems a little bit quick trying to jump that far um, in that short amount of time. So we could start adjusting uh, the height of this. And this is where um, it starts adjusting our animation for us. So originally, uh, if we remember, we landed at frame 40. Now what we can do is if we want to make her start leaping up higher, it starts changing our animation so that it retimes it. So now we're landing at 43 because it's taking more time here. So now you could start adjusting that curve and getting the height uh, that you want on here. If you want to make it higher, we could do that. And it starts giving us that animation change really, really quickly. And in this case, uh, when I open up my control G and I go to our baking of that, I can go to the baking. And what I'm going to do, since I already have my keys in here, if I want this exact thing in here, I can bake it with more keys. But since I already have some keys on here, um, I'm just going to update them. Because I, again, I'm still just in my blocking phase. I want to just update where these keys are. And now when I go to with bake keys to new layer on, um, when I bake these keys out, it's actually giving me another uh, layer up here that I can use. And now when I go out and I go to see animate, I'm going to take off this path here. Now we can see that um, she's landing at frame 44. If I mute this, you can see that's where she was before. And she was actually uh, landing um, earlier when we see this on this layer. So really quickly, we've been able to change all that animation and again, I haven't really done any uh, things in here, so I could take a look uh, in here and I could just see my keys because all I've done is just moved my keys that I had before to where they are now. And we could start taking a look at things like our TY and um, we can see how we want to change that. We can actually, if we want to, let's just select the lecture block, 
add a new layer on here, and now we can start animating from here. So if we want to go from here, I could set a, uh, a key onto um, the Electra here. Just set a key here, and now we can go here. If we're landing here, we could set a key here, and um, and now in between here, we could do any of our changes that we want uh, to be in here. So let's just put this to 100. Um, if I wanted to, I could start changing all the keys because again, these are just keys and now I'm just on a layer. I can just do it. So if I want to hold this out here, I can start just adjusting these out just to get some stretch on there. And now we can start changing this. If we want to kick the legs out a little bit more, we can kick, uh, let me grab the pull vectors and I could start moving these legs out here and grabbing these, again, using the control uh, shift for uh, doing everything. We could just start uh, keying, and I should have actually had this keyed on here, the pin, so I made sure that everything was keyed, but um, there we go. So now we could start just taking that animation, and so you could start really building up some animation that's very different from where you were, um, but getting all the different animation on there. So now you have creative control over how you want to do it way quicker than I would have had to if I had to reanimate that whole thing to make her jumping on the table versus what it was on uh, the bottom there. So that's the two different types, the hitting the mark uh, and then being able to have some creative control over the height and distance of how a character is moving between things using dynamic motion.